did this Cadillac CTS coupe. We wrapped it all the way around with 20% in ceramic, so let me come show you what it looks like. Starting off with the back window right here, um, I, had, I had it cut on the blotter over there, cut it out pretty nice and neat. Put it up on, on here, so the tricky thing about this, this one is not so much the heat shrinking. The heat shrinking is not that bad, actually. It's a, it's a pretty, it's a moderately flat glass, so there's not a whole lot of heat shrinking to go on. The tricky part is when you go into the inside, it's, it's such a flat glass. You have a very little amount of space to actually put the film in there and not get any contaminants or dirt or dust into the film. So for this one, I used a, a method which is called a reverse roll. So you roll it up on the outside, taking it on the inside, you unroll it, and then you take off that liner, Frankenstein it up. So Frankenstein is because when you put in the film, you're like this, and that's the Frankenstein, you know? So you put the film in there like that, you slap it on the glass, and then, as you can see right here, probably the most effective way to do it, because there's actually absolutely no dust, no dirt, air particles, or anything like that. It's just super clean, flush throughout the whole thing. Um, and then so, that's that's the, the way that I did this. So a lot of people have their own way, but this is the one that I found to be the most effective for me. Most coupes kind of come out the same or, um, out of the factory nowadays, but, See, there's, there's no gasket up here or anything like that, so it leaves this whole side exposed on the top and the side. Um, and so for that, I use this method called the micro-edging. So basically all you do is you take that film and you just get it up as high as you can, not to overlap so that it doesn't peel over time, but just enough to where it just looks super professional and it looks really, really good. And so, if you, like looking at it from the inside out, you can see right here on the edge, it's just pretty much even all the way throughout. And that is special thanks to the plotter, because the plotter did that for me, and then, you know, I just came in there, installed it, and put it on there, so. part about this one is if you guys notice when you close the door the window goes up so let me let me do that again for you guys that didn't catch it see how it's a little bit down and then it creeps up tricky part about that one is whenever you get your windows in you're not supposed to roll the windows down however this car doesn't really give you that option along with the, most of the more more modern coupe they all do this nowadays so the way to do this one to make sure that over time, like throughout the years, that it's not going to peel, is to cut it bigger on the bottom so that it tucks in underneath these gaskets. Because anytime there's a point of failure, is whenever there is the film. Let's say this is the gasket, this is a film, and the film is on top. And then every time you roll it up and down, it's rubbing. So what happens over time? It starts to peel, and then the film comes loose. So as long as you put it underneath that gasket, underneath this right here, it's not going to have an issue. Texas Tip Masters, and I'll see you on the next one.